Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you one sneaky Google review trick to help you rank in Google Maps. Watch this. This video is dedicated to Darren Marion from Rattel SEO, who passed away uh, November 14th, 2021. I love you, brother. All right, guys, so got a super simple one for you today that appears to be pretty effective. Now, guys, I want you to understand something real quick. I am not a scientist, nor am I an engineer. This is um, something that, that I do every once in a while, and I notice an uptick in, um, in rankings. So anything that I noticed for myself, I pass on to you. It can or cannot work for you. It really depends on the um, industry, on the keywords that you're going for, your population, so on and so forth. So please just keep that in mind. But this is what's worked for me. I did see an uptick. I want to pass it on to you, and it's up to you if you'd like to use it. If not, keep it in the memory bank. If you don't use it now, you could use it at a later date. Okay, so I typed in roofer into Google, and if I scroll down, this is called the Google 3-pack. This is where everybody wants to be. This is the section that gets all the calls. On, the, um, on a mobile, right, on a cell phone, it just, says, it just says call. So somebody needs a roofer, you know, you got a leak real quick. They type in roofer, they scroll down, they see call. They see somebody with eight, 805 reviews. And they click the review. Uh, they click the, the call. But how about these people? How about these people that are 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, somewhere around here? Right? So this is what I would do if I was Tim's roofing. If I was Tim's roofing. I would have a review done this weekend. And here's how I would do it. Step one, click reviews. Step two. See where it says right here? It says uh, 31 Google reviews. Just click that. All right. You'll notice that it says right up here, people often mention. These are the keywords associated with uh, his, his roofing business that people have left uh, reviews and have mentioned these words. So, for example, company, quality, metal roof, crew, punctuality, all these. I don't need to read them all. Okay? So, what I would do is I would, I would take a look at some other people because, you know, everybody has different keywords. And I would just put together a review that used three or four here and then three or four from, from your competition and put together a, you know, a, a nice, you know, 100 word 200 word review all right so that's clear now whenever you're writing a review always try to use the person's name so for example i met with tim or better yet i met with uh tim smith whatever his name is and use the name in the review at least two or three times that that is something important if you can do that uh, a lot of times you go to a website and you'll see the person's name all right, so we got that. We're going to write a review. After we write the review, right? After we write the review, there'll be a spot where you are able to um, add pictures. And in the next slide, I want to show you how we do that. And there's a very specific picture I want you to add. All right, guys. So the, the picture that I'd like you to add is actually a Google Map. And let me show you, move this out of the way. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So what I'm going to do is take Tim's roofing, right? And I'm going to be in the area of Florida as to where they're located. And I'm just going to take a screenshot or use the snipping tool, right? You can get it right here. Snipping tool It's just a Chrome extension. It's called Snipping Tool. You just go to Google, type in Snipping Tool, and uh, you could use it. You just click New, and all you'll do is just take, just take this little snip, save it on your desktop, and then this is the picture. This is the Maps picture that you'll use 
when you create the review. So uh, you save this on your desktop, right? You come over to Tim's Roofing if you know if you were to give somebody a review, or you need you need reviews for your business, right? Then all you do is you just check out all the keywords here and you write a review. When you write a review, did you use this business? You click yes, five stars, right? You click all these, right? Roof repair, and then you write your review. Now, when you add the photo, you add the photo of the map. That's the trick to add the photo of the map that appears to give it a kick. Now I'm going to give you an, a little extra credit here. All right, so it's writing the the, um, the the review using the keywords and using the map as the photo. But here, let's take it a step further. Let's take it one step further. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you something else you could do, if you'd like. You go to Tim's Roofing. You go to Directions. Right, it will automatically give directions. So, for example, you move the directions over here to Bill Jackson, right? Bill Jackson for adventure. Now, you take this picture, you snap this picture, you save it on your desktop, you use this picture showing from uh, uh, Bill Jackson's outdoor adventure to Tim's roofing right over here. So you'll snip this picture right here. And you use this picture for the review. Now here's another thing you could do. You could take your cell phone or your laptop, go to the actual location or have your friend or your customer go to the actual location in, in uh, Bill Jackson and log on to their Wi-Fi. Right, just ask them for their Wi-Fi. A lot of times they have it posted in a coffee shop somewhere. Right, you can go anywhere. You can go to Starbucks, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, uh, a diner, wherever you want. Just pick some some place that has Wi-Fi. Use their Wi-Fi and do the review using their Wi-Fi. Whoa, whoa, Nelly. So one day you do a review here. The next day you do a review here. The next day you do a review here, right over here, and the next, you know, five days later you do, so, you know, over three, four weeks you do five, you do three, four, five reviews over the next month, let's just say, don't do them every day, especially if you only have like 31 reviews, all right, so if, you, if you're usually getting one review every three or four days keep it up you know keep it like that don't bang out four reviews in one day but just go in a circle around your location just one time use the map don't use the map every time use different gmail accounts where you'll have different customers but if they could log on to for example nine spices hot pot korean they can log on to their wi-fi that is great and just you know and do the review from there uh, but this map trick you have to think about it out of you know out of 100 reviews how many people are going to use a map as the picture maybe one right so don't don't use 10 pictures of a map just do it once or twice per hundred that's it don't go crazy with it and that's it man that's it so once again, if you like this video, please feel free to uh, share it with your friends. Please like and subscribe. And um, most important thing, make sure you kiss your family and you're good to your kids and you spend time with them. That's the most important thing. And the other thing is you can't take care of them if you don't take care of yourself. So if you're over 50 years old, please get a, a cardiac CT scan. All you do, very simple, just go to your primary care doctor, get a prescription then bring the prescription over to cardiologist for a cardiac CT scan. It could save your life. It could predict a heart attack for 15 years in the future, up to 15 years in the future. It's called a cardiac CT scan. Just go over and get it, and this way you know you're good, right? Okay, everybody have a great day. If you'd like to work with me uh, on a consultation, if I, I'll do consultation. I could redo your website. 
get you ranked in the Google three pack, whichever easiest for you. You see, uh, I have my cell number here. Feel free, shoot me a text whenever you'd like and uh, have a great day. We will catch you tomorrow. Have a great day.